What's up everybody? It's your boy Brandon Blakeney, aka Brandon Lee TV. Welcome back to the Live with Brandon podcast. Y'all, just when we thought LSU was soaring and getting back into championship form, it was announced that Kateri Poole would no longer be with the Tigers basketball program. They are down to just 10 scholarship players. Whew, it's getting tough for Coach Mulkey. And, of course, she ain't really saying too much about it. But before we get into all that, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button for all the latest and the greatest. And join our memberships. We got that exclusive content coming daily, weekly, whenever you need it. Now, let's get into it. You are now locked into the Live with Brandon Blakeney podcast. Here is your host, Brandon Blakeney. So it was announced earlier last week, LSU guard Kateri Poole was no longer a member of the Tigers women's basketball program. Coach Kim Mulkey announced this on Sunday. Now, we haven't seen her in action with LSU since November 17th. All Mulkey said was, she's no longer with us. The five-star guard transferred into LSU from Ohio State, and she was a key defensive piece for LSU over the last two seasons and a starter in every NCAA tournament game that they had. She made some big shots, and she was expected to take a major role on this year. Big leap in minutes, but unfortunately, she only averaged about 12 minutes per game over four appearances this season. She's a big physical guard, former five-star recruit that came in with a big reputation. She hasn't played since November November 17th against Southeastern Louisiana. Now, LSU entered this season number one in the country, and we know they got their doors blown off by Colorado. Um, we know the success that Poole had there. We know that she won a national championship, and, you know, it was kind of a sad tribute because we kind of don't know exactly what the heck happened or what her future lies as, but it's just tough to see because we saw her achieve success there. And she even posted this, thank you, Tiger Nation, on social media, um, holding the championship. You know, this was this is a huge loss. Like, some people might be looking at her minutes and her production, but this is a huge loss for the locker room, for their defensive possibilities, depth. This is a big loss. I mean, she was a key piece in that championship tournament run. Angel Reese posted this on social media, a tribute, forever my dog, you know I love you, and 10 behind you, at Kateri Poole. And if y'all remember, Kateri Poole is a big reason why Angel Reese came to LSU in the first place. She pretty much sealed the deal. So if Kateri Poole would have never been at LSU, Angel Reese would have never been at LSU. So this is major news. And we know that this LSU team is already dealing with some injuries. Haley Van Lith is currently out with a foot injury. And Samaya Smith is out for the year as well. So two contributors from that national championship team out for the season. Well, one of them off the team, the other out for the season. And Haley Van Lith is battling foot issues as well. So the Tigers are a bit shorthanded right now. Ten scholarship players active. Um... I'm saying, man, it's been the last couple years. They lost a player to the transfer portal before the season started. But the last couple years, LSU's just been losing players, man. And I'm just saying, maybe there's something else a little deeper going on. I don't know. But, hey, the Tigers will claw on. They still have championship aspirations. And this, by no means, knocks them out of championship contention. But it's always nice to have that depth. And it'll be interesting to see what happens with Poole and what her next move is, whether it be college or going to play professionally somewhere. You know, we'll see, man. But she's talented, and I'm sure she'll get another shot. We don't even know what really happened in this situation, so that's tough to gauge, too. Like, we don't even know why she's not no longer with the team. What It's just left to speculation at this point. And I've seen a lot of support for her online, on Twitter, a lot of people reaching out and showing love her way, so... You know, just hope for the best for the student athlete. Y'all let me know. Have y'all heard anything? I haven't heard anything. Holler at me in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Is Kim Mulkey the problem or is she the solution? Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. That's a wrap for us. For all the latest and the greatest, make sure you hit that subscribe button. 
I'm Brandon Blakeney, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV, your host. Until next time, hey, we out.